Hello everybody, today we're doing another fan service. This one's for Brian Matter. He's asking for Kingdom Hearts, specifically 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep. So he says that he installed 2.8, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, and I guess there's two games in there, Dream Drop Distance, which he got it to work, and then um, 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep doesn't work. So let's take a look. Okay, we're in game mode. And I've already installed the game. And let's boot it up and see what the problem is. Disney, looking good. Looking good. Square Enix. Unreal Engine. Yeah, I think this is done. I don't think there's anything we need to do. What's he talking about? All right, we got past it. We're in the game. Standard mode. Okay. I think this is a pretty good game. I might play the whole series if I have time. Can we skip the cutscene? Yes, okay, so let's go to, to control the character and if we can control the character, I guess everything's fine, music's fine and we can call it a day. No tutorials, let's, let's just move. Alright, so yeah, done. So Brian Matter, if you have any problems. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Uh, it wasn't as, as easy as it looks, so uh, there were a few tricks we need to do to get this game running on the Steam Deck, so let's get to it now. Alright, so we're on desktop mode on our Steam Deck, but I've already done a few things on my PC. I've downloaded the cracked version of Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, and I've installed it on my PC, and then I copied the whole game folder over to my Steam Deck. So if you can see my Steam Deck, I have uh, in Downloads, Warpinator, I have Kingdom Hearts 2.8 HDFCP. So uh, the game's downloaded here. And here's Dream Drop Distance, which uh, Brian Matter said that it works. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry about Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep. So let's just add it to our Steam, uh, our Steam library. Uh, we're going to add a game, add a non-Steam game. Browse. And then we go to the folder, Downloads, Warpinator, Kingdom Hearts HD, okay, Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2, Binaries, Win64, and then this one, Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2, Birth by Sleep.exe. Okay, so I'm going to add this program, and it's over here on my left-hand side. Okay, and then we're going to go into the Properties. I'm going to remove the exe part to make it look better. Compatibility. Uh, we're going to change it to Proton Experimental. We're going to force it to use Proton Experimental. Okay, so let's run the game and see what the problem is. Does it even run? Yes, it runs. So we're in Disney, looking good. Square Enix. Unreal Engine. Okay, so you get stuck here. I think this is where he got stuck, just like me. So there's nothing we can do. So we're just going to press Alternate F4 to get out of it. Okay, so it doesn't work uh, this way. All right, and I've even tried to install the dependencies uh, through Proton Tricks. It doesn't work. So what you need to do, we need to use, we need to, okay, let's just remove it from our, our Steam library first. So what you're going to do, we're going to use Lutris. And we also need to download something called an MF install. Okay, so all right, let's just download the MF install first. I already have it. Um, 
I'm going to search it online. Yep. So I'm just, you go here and download it. I'll leave a link in the description. I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it, but yeah, you need to download this source code zip. All right. So I already have it. So first thing you're going to do is, um, create a prefix folder for Lutris. So I'm going to go to documents inside documents. I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to create a folder called prefix. Prefixes. Yep. And then inside here, I'm going to create another folder. Let's just call it new folder for now, but I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename it to the game. So let's go to our game. I'm just being lazy. I don't want to type it out. So I'm just going to copy this. Copy the name and go back here. I'm going to rename the new folder to the name of the game. Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Breath by Sleep. And then inside here, we're going to put the MF install that we just downloaded. So we downloaded the zip and you need to unzip it. And then there's a folder. Okay, so we're going to copy this folder over to the prefixes, the documents, prefixes, and then Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Breath by Sleep. We're going to paste it here. All right. So that's the first step you're going to do. Make sure it's important. Every step is important. So then we go to our Lutris. If you don't have Lutris, go to discover and then search for it. Yep, search for it. You can install it here. I already have it, so I don't need to. So once you're in Lutris, go to the top left corner, press the plus sign, and then we're going to add locally installed game because we already have the game and it's already installed, but we just can't get it to work. Okay, so the name, I'm going to paste the game. Nope. This doesn't work. Go back to here. I'm just going to copy this name. Kingdom Hearts. I don't want to type it. Okay. Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Breath by Sleep. I think I'm saying that a lot. Okay. So, and then right now we go to Wine. Runs Windows Games. Okay. Game options. We're going to select the executable. So the executable is here. Yes. In this directory. Um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Breath by Sleep.exe. And then we're going to leave the working directory blank. The wine prefix, we're going to direct it to the folder we just created. So I put it in documents, prefixes, and then Kingdom Hearts Breath by Sleep. This is the prefix folder I, I'm going to put it here. And then wine version, I'm using the default one, 7.2 hyphen two. Okay. So that's done. Okay. So once you've done that, uh, highlight the game kingdom Hearts, this one, and then at the bottom, here's the wine. We have to, uh, I think we should run it first because we need to create those directories. Okay. So just play it first and you can see that wine's creating those directories. In the prefix, so it's creating the prefixes directory. So you, this is important. You need to create those directories, but it's not going to run. I think it's going to be exactly the same as uh, what happened in the Steam. All right. Yep. So it's it's loaded into the game, but I think we're going to get stuck at that. Uh, when it goes black, so after the, what do you call this? The opening logos. So after this, and then it goes black. Yep. Here, here's where it goes black. So, okay. We press alternate F4, get out of it. We didn't really need to watch that. I knew it wasn't going to work. So okay, go back to, uh, the main page and select Kingdom Hearts. And then here in the wine, we're gonna open bash terminal. Okay, so once the bash terminal is open, type CD 
mf hyphen install. Uh, what was it called? Install and then one point something. I think it was one point zero. Let me double check it. Let me check the prefix. It's called okay. Mf hyphen install hyphen one point zero. Okay, that's the. Let's see. Uh, they created the prefixes here already when we run the game. That's why we needed this. We needed this. So okay, cd mf hyphen install hyphen one point zero. Enter. Now we're in the directory. Now we're gonna press uh, full stop. Slash. Mf hyphen install. Dot sh. And then run it. And now wait for this to complete. We're installing mf install. Okay, so that's done, and we're done. We're done. Okay, now let's run the game. Let's see if we can run the game. It should be fine. Brian, Brian, matter. We we did it. It should be fine. And then if it runs, we gotta create the Steam shortcut, and then we can run it on game mode. And then we're done. We finally got it to work. See, it works. We're in. All right, let's uh, get out of it. I'll turn F4, my favorite shortcut. Okay, and then we're gonna add Steam shortcut, create a Steam shortcut, right click, create Steam shortcut. Uh, we're gonna exit Steam. And just double check it's there. Don't have to, but yeah, it should be there. But yeah, let's just double check just to be safe. So library, and let's see if the shortcut is created. Yeah, here it is, Kingdom Hearts. 0 0.2 breath by sleep. Okay, let's go to game mode and try it out. I'm gonna try this series, I guess. It's pretty popular and I just didn't play the first one and and then I just never got onto it. So yeah. Okay, so we're in game mode. Okay. Okay, let's go to our library. On Steam. Okay, here it is. So what's the first thing we do? We change the artwork. Okay, they don't have original hardware for this one because um, it wasn't released on Steam. It was only released on Epic Game Store. So, yeah. This one looks good. Do you guys like watching me do the artwork? You sure about that? Okay. Okay, let's run it. Let's run it. So if you guys have any uh, requests, uh, I'll try my best to get it to work. Some games just don't work. I'm sorry about that. Uh, not all games work, but yeah. I'll try my best. And if you like these series, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. All right, here's the moment of truth. Does it work? It's gonna work. Yep, there it is. All right. So yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna go into the game. Uh, you already saw it at the start, it works. So um, yeah, 
uh, I'm gonna leave it here. So if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.